excited about UFC 126 and Miguel Torres fixing the fight Antonio Benuelos. Miguel Torres has a 37-3-0 record. He's working with the TriStar Gym up in Montreal. He's a heavy-handed striker. Very long, lengthy arms for a 135-pounder. He does a lot of knees. He's a very good Muay Thai fighter. Has very great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's not afraid to be on his back. He has heart, extreme cardio. He's one of those dudes, uh, the later the, the, the more the fight goes in the later rounds, he's there to kick your ass and take your name. He was the WEC, I think it's the Phantomweight champion for a long time. Um, what can I say? He's rocking the mullet. I can see um, him with this striking. And if you're fighting with George St. Pierre, you're just going to dominate people. That's just my opinion. This is at UFC 126. Miguel Torres is going to stomp some others and stomp him. But we got to look at the other aspect. Antonio is 19-6-0, and a very strong wrestler, great conditioning. Um, he's a great ground-and-pound fighter. What can you say about the guy? You have a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, basically, and a striker, which is um, Miguel Torres. He kind of reminds me of Miguel Torres, kind of reminds me of someone like Anderson Silva, with just the style of the way he fights. Um, and you have... The other guy, Antonio, which is a very strong wrestler and likes to do the ground and pound, I would think you don't want to be on the ground with Mikhail Torres because that dude will wrap you up in a triangle like that and your lights will be out. But um, if I'm not mistaken, um, this dude, Antonio, trains with, um, I think it was he was training with Chuck Liddell at one point. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but um, I'm taking Miguel Torres by decision or winning in the second round via key via knockout. Now get that camera up face, sucker.